Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many .NET developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a challenge with sending emails using Mandrill SMTP, specifically when the sender's name includes certain Scandinavian characters. The question revolves around a silent failure when sending emails. The sender's name, containing characters like A or O, seems to cause the emails to vanish without a trace. Interestingly, emails sent through other SMTP services work perfectly fine. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. The issue you're facing seems to be related to character encoding when using the SMTP client class in .NET with Mandrill SMTP. Specifically, the characters A, U, and O in the mail from name are causing the emails to fail silently. To address this, we need to ensure that the encoding is correctly set for the reply to list. In your code, you're already using UTF-8 encoding, which is good. However, let's verify that all parts of the email are consistently using UTF-8. Next, let's modify the mail from name to replace problematic characters with their ASCII equivalents. For example, you can replace A with AE, RU with O, and O with AA. This can help avoid issues with SMTP servers that may not handle these characters well. Finally, after making these changes, test sending the email again. Monitor the logs to see if the emails are now being delivered successfully. If the issue persists, consider checking Mandrill's documentation for any specific character encoding requirements. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with using SMTP client and Mandrill SMTP arises from the addition of a new line after about 72 characters in the subject and reply to display name. This happens after the string is encoded, which can lead to illegal new line characters in the encoded string. Interestingly, the Mandrill SMTP server fails without returning an error, while other SMTP servers handle the situation correctly. Now that the problem is understood, the next step is to find a solution. The user invites suggestions for fixing this issue. And that's it, guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If you did, guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.